Hey, hey guys, what's up? Evil Zombie here. So today, I'm going to talk to you about another free RPG game that you can play. So this is another alternative to Dungeons and Dragons, or you can use kind of you can combine settings if you want and different rules with um, your preferred rule sets if you like. But if you're just playing this, uh, Karen, I think it's Karen or Karen. I think it's Karen. Um, but this is cool. This is an interesting setting. It's an interesting rule book, and it has some slightly different rules. Um, mostly from what I gather, I'm still reading it. Mostly from what I gather, it's descending um, armor class, I think, for the way you attack. And saves are descending, so one is success, a 20 is failure. So it's like switched around from what you might be used to in 5th edition. But it all holds tight, and it's a very small, I think it's 18 pages for the actual uh, content, and then you have a character sheet in the back with an and the character sheet also has uh, some quick rules summaries in there for players. So they have that. And it has cool artwork too. The artwork is all badass for this. I love the artwork. It's actually really nifty. Like this is some of the best artwork. Uh, it's a very short book. It's it, But it does have a lot of interesting rules. So one of the cool things I loved was that it's classless. The rule set for this, that was something that really stood out to me. So characters' roles or skills are not limited by a single class. Instead, the equipment they carry and their, and their experiences defines their speciality. The specialty. So basically, um, the character, well, it says it right there. You're, if you have thieves' tools, that's your specialty. You're not listed as a thief. You can switch to something else if you want. If you have different tools and you get used to them, you're not limited. And death is actually handled a lot different in here than in like 5th edition, what I'm used to. Death is interesting. So if your HP goes down to zero, then, it's, then it takes away your strength. And if your strength goes to zero, then you die. You just die. And big choices and things like that are left open to the players so they know about what happens and why, and they try and make better choices. Um, it gives you different principles for the wardens. The warden is the DM or the GM. So you have a page for the warden's principles and what the players need to do. Like they can focus on teamwork, exploration, talking, planning, ambition, take caution, agency. Um, tells you how to basically be a good uh, game master or warden. So it tells you how to focus on the narrative, what, like adding treasures, things like that. It's fun. It just kind of gives you little hints to make it better for everybody. One of my favorite things is there's lots of tables. I love tables. They're all good artwork too. But look at lots of tables for picking up the starter gear or the character traits. And it's all easy to find and it's all listed very well. It's one of my favorite things. Everything is listed very well. And the rules, they're all categorized nicely. And I don't have to jump back and forth. So every everybody has very similar rule sets because well they don't do classes in this the classes don't make a difference and it just goes well so you have like wealth and treasure hirelings hirelings are a cool thing in this too uh combat i'm still kind of wrapping my head around a little bit i need to play it probably to get the use to get the hang of it because i'm a hands-on kind of person mostly so i'm gonna mess with that or i'll watch a video and see just an example um but that's the only like attacking is something that I'm just a little confused on myself. Or I'm used to D&D where you do an attack roll and then you do your damage dice after. This really hasn't mentioned an attack roll specifically, so I'm not sure. I'm going to get back to you on that one. But what I've seen so far, I like it. It's very small, it's very short, and it looks nice too. The artwork is fantastic. I love the artwork in this. You can just print it on, what was it, um, 9 or 10 double-sided pages. And then you just fold it and you're good. It's a free PDF and they give you a full-size version. They give you the individual character sheets. Um, they also give you like the, the booklet version, which is what I what you see here, the booklet version. It's free. There's no reason for you not to check it out. If you're looking for an alternative to Dungeons and Dragons, it's cool. Check it out. It's worth it. Um, you can play it in the evening. Just read through it really quick. Figure out the rules. And yeah, let's just have a good time. So... I'll include a link in the description below. Of course, you can buy it on Amazon if you really want a book. But you can also just print it because it's like the smallest book that there is. Except for the pocket guide, which I'll show you probably in the next video. So, I'll show you that one next. The pocket the uh, pocket one, you'll see. There is a smaller one than this. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.